welcome to my youtube channel i'm back again with another commission portrait piece it's almost similar to the one that i made last time and if you like watching that then you are going to love watching this one right now i am busy fixing a little bit of a annoyance that i'm seeing on this painting basically I have these yellow blocks here but in order to keep them symmetrical I had to draw pencil lines and then I painted over the pencil lines with some yellow but the yellow didn't cover up the pencil lines and I thought ah, I should just leave it but I can't those lines are bothering me so now I'm just cover the, covering them up with white paint and then I'm going to paint over them again with yellow I will show a picture of what these pencil lines look like uh, and then you'll see you'll see um, this video is gonna be a little bit chaotic maybe but hey welcome to my channel so right now I will be starting by just telling you a little bit about the painting and what I'm doing for example here I'm just showing you the pencil sketch that I made beforehand you can see the pencil marks that I made that I was talking about earlier that I needed to fix when they couldn't be covered so this is a commission piece that I'm making for a customer and that background is probably the important part of it because she wanted something that resembled this African traditional material that a lot of women wear nowadays and it's really quite vibrant and you'll see later on the colors are really vibrant yellow and blue so that's what this painting is so i always start with the face i am again painting a melanated you know black woman with a nice head wrap and I'm starting with her face and giving her a nice skin tone and yeah that's basically what I'll be doing for the next few minutes and then I'm going to continue with the rest of her facial features and so on so in the beginning of the video I thought that we could chat about some things um, yesterday my plan was to talk about the new Marvel series um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier but yeah I decided against that because that is actually a discussion that might take a long time because I would have to give background to the whole story which, mean, which means I have to explain what happened in the Avengers movies that led to this particular series so I might do that later on after the final episode after I have kind of collected my thoughts about it so that I can rant properly because that show does not disappoint, it is rant worthy. And if you love superhero movies, if you love the MCU, you you will agree with you will agree with me. But instead of that, I guess I decided that I'm gonna talk about things that I would like to try or things that are on my bucket list. Um, after I wrote down my bucket list, I realized how short it was and how mediocre my bucket list actually is. And it's a little embarrassing, but <laughs> we're going to talk about it anyway because we have time, right? So since I think everyone, everyone has a bucket list, there's always those things that you want to try, things that... You see in movies, you see it on social media that people do and you think to yourself, oh wow, I would love to try that. So yeah, I have a few of those and literally the first thing on my list, so typical of me is, okay, maybe it's not typical. I think this is typical of everyone. What am I saying? First thing is I want to try more Asian food, but like at Asian restaurants. So I love cooking shows, you know Food Network, I don't know anyone who does not love watching diners, drive-ins and dives. That is honestly probably the best show on that entire channel. That show made me want to go to America so bad because it made it seem like their food is so diverse and so delicious looking. Everything looks like it's 
just good and falling off the bone kind of stuff. So one of the things that I would see on that show is when he would feature um, Asian restaurants. And man, Asian food looks amazing. Like, there's this Vietnamese dish, pho, that they always talk about. And I remember Guy Fieri saying on, t- on camera several times that he would inhale that broth if he could. And I would look at him eat it and think to myself, you know what? I agree with you. I would. I have never tasted it and I would love to. But a dish like that with the broth and, you know, it looks like it's so warm and comforting and delicious. So I would love to try Asian food. Asian dumplings like pot stickers. I think they're Japanese. I'm not sure if they're Chinese or Japanese. Um, I don't want to offend anyone by just lumping in all Asian food, but I think they are Japanese. If they are Chinese, I'm not sure. But the dumplings that they have that's filled with meat and then they put like soy sauce and chili sauce and stuff over it. Oh my goodness. I tried to make them myself, but obviously I feel like there's no way that I did them justice. And I love the ones that I've tried, but I want to try authentic real ones. So, first thing on my bucket list is more Asian food. It's not the most exciting thing on a bucket list, but it's there none, regardless. A lot of my things that I would love to try has to do with food. I think that I would love to do food tourism, like go to a place, visit a place, and just eat their food. Uh, nothing sounds more fun obviously i am a picky eater i don't eat everything but the regular food or regular meats and things like that things that are not too exotic i would love and i realize as i'm explaining right now that this is probably not a bucket list worthy kind of thing because i'm a picky eater and i won't eat anything too exotic so eh oh well the next thing on my on my bucket list is to travel. I've never been outside of South Africa ever. So that's the first thing. I would love to go out of this country and see other places. It would be so great. One of the first places that I would love to visit is Zanzibar. I've always fantasized about Zanzibar since I was in primary school. You know in magazines they used to have those travel brochures? And then they would show that like a, a vacation for seven days and seven nights at Zanzibar. And I used to look at that place and think, wow, I would love this place. I love going to the ocean. I never get tired of it. I don't, th- I don't know if anyone ever gets tired of looking at the ocean. It is probably the most magnificent thing in the world. So going to Zanzibar, which has the most, one of the most beautiful beaches in the world and the fact that it's an African destination makes it even better. So within Africa, Zanzibar will definitely be the first destination that I would love to go to. The second one being Egypt because who doesn't want to see the pyramids and Sphinx up close? Who? I know I do and that's the only reason I want to go there. If there's nothing else, that's the only reason. And then when it comes to outside of Africa, hmm, I always thought I would want to go to Italy because I like pasta. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very dumb reason to want to go to Italy. But honestly, it is the only reason. Obviously, I want to see the Colosseum and the Leaning Tower and all of those things because they have really ancient architecture which looks amazing by the way so i would love to see those but my initial reasoning was pasta and i'm not ashamed of it anyway uh i'm almost done with the skin tone of her face here as you can see and i'm just adding some shadows i still have her lips and eye eyes and eyebrows to do before i move on to her shoulder shoulders anyway The next out of Africa destination I would love to go to 
is probably I okay I think it's Korea or Japan I saw this art installation I think it's in Korea that they have um, it's a digital art installation it's like a whole gallery it has the most amazing digital art uh, exhibitions it is mostly the only reason why I want to go there also for the Asian food that I mentioned earlier on in the video yeah I would love it I would absolutely love to visit that place also I would love to go to Japan Japan looks like such a tranquil and beautiful place to visit so I would love to go to Japan and experience what that place is like and then in Europe I mentioned Italy um, yeah Maybe when you're thinking of South America, maybe places like Costa Rica and Brazil, but I haven't really thought about that. Um, North America, eesh. I mean, I'd go to America just to taste what their food is like, because my, my aunt and I, we are convinced that American food, the way they show it on the Food Network, it looks delicious, to be honest. Like all those smoked meats and all of, and all of that, looks freaking fantastic but I have a friend who disagrees and I don't know I think I would like to see for myself yeah that's about it any other places that I want to go I would still want to go anywhere else Canada France Portugal whatever but those places that I mentioned those are the specific places that would be my dream destinations to visit on this earth. Another thing that I'd like to do, this is more like a fun thing and it's not necessarily far off or far-fetched, but I would love to do an MCU cosplay. Like just dress up as an MCU character and visit or go to Comic Con with the cosplay. In my head, it looks like a whole lot of fun. Like, I could see myself dressing up as Loki, because he's like my favorite MCU character ever. I could dress up as him, you know, with the horns and the green and all of that. It would be absolutely epic. In my head, that's something that I would love to do. I don't know if I would have the guts to do it though, because I'm so shy and I feel embarrassed doing anything even having this conversation so who knows but that's something that I would want to do and I haven't really seen anyone who does that I would love to see how they pull it off especially a low-key costume I would love to see how they pull that one off the next one on my bucket list oh before I continue this is I'm just showing you how far I've come with the painting Obviously, I started doing the background without showing the whole thing because it was very, very long. It took a very long time. And yeah, now I'm starting with the head wrap. I'm giving it sunset vibes, whereas the background has to do with the, with, with this Ankara. I think it's an Ankara fabric. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not sure. But a lot of women wear this particular pattern on dresses and things, and I've seen it quite a lot on the internet. So that's what the background pattern is based on. And the head wrap, I wanted to give sunset, African sunset vibes. So that's why I stayed again with the oranges and the deep reds and browns to give it that feel. And I hope that that's coming across. This painting took me Two weekends to complete I think yeah two weekends to complete and yeah it was tough the background was tough because I had to draw it with a ruler so that I could have symmetrical blocks and yeah it was a lot but it worked out in the end I still ha I had to fix the pencil lines because they, the yellow paint didn't really cover them well and that's what I showed you early on in the video. Yeah, so as I said, this video is going to be a little bit chaotic because my filming this weekend was a little bit chaotic. 
but it still worked out. Um, so the other part of my bucket list was to change my style. I've always in my head visualized myself dressing differently than I actually do because I'm shy and I'm scared. I don't want to attract attention to myself, but I don't like, I want to dress different. You know when you have that urge that you, you know you want to have a different feel. Yeah, like you want to express yourself with your clothes in a specific way, but figuring that out has been a very, very difficult process for me because I keep thinking, mm, I don't know, this is too short or this is too bright, this is too loud, this is this. And I really would love to actually just change the way that I dress and dress in the way that I visualize in my head and still feel confident and more like myself. But anyway, that is one of my bucket lists. It's kind of weird, but yeah. And then last on my bucket list is to have not a gallery, but and kind of like an art deco space for myself where my artworks will be represented in people's homes all over this country, even internationally. This is something that I dream about a lot and I would love to see it come to fruition. So, and this YouTube channel and my artwork is are the first steps to realizing that or trying to make that happen. Um, so, fingers crossed and we'll see how it goes but that is another thing on my bucket list it's something that i would love to try obviously this is something that will take years to to accomplish but it's probably the most long-term bucket list item that i have yeah so that's my bucket list you guys can share your bucket list things that you want to try out short-term ones long-term ones in the comment section if you like and I can see if I can if I can't spice up my bucket list with your items because mine is pretty dry, don't you think? Um, <laughs> and yeah, let me know what you think of this painting in the comments. I know I haven't spoken a lot about it. It's just that I don't have anything to say necessarily. I've explained what the background is and what the what I was going for, the look that I was going for, and I don't know, I don't really know how to discuss artwork <laughs> like seasoned artists, but anyway, let me know what you think, let me know what you think of the background, if you would change it in any way, if there's something that you would do differently, if you like the painting, what do you think of it, let me know, I would love your interaction and your advice and all of that it would be really really appreciated i have in i have uh social media obviously where you can follow me when you want to see artwork that is not featured on this channel so at em underscore streaks that is my instagram handle and at em underscore streaks for my tiktok a lot of my artworks will probably be showcased on those two platforms because the videos aren't that long um, yeah, and please interact with me over there. So, the, the thing that I like about this painting is how bright and vibrant it is. It is absolutely amazing. Um, the blue and the orange offset each other and complement each other really well.
so this is the finished painting what do you guys think of it I personally really like it I had to really work hard at making the background what it is um, but other than that it was a it was a really nice piece to work on and I hope that my customer loves it and I hope that she will display it with pride in her home Thank you guys for joining me. If you joined me this far, please like, subscribe, and comment if you have anything that you would like to share with me. Thank you guys. Bye.